أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of Allah, the gracious, the most merciful In today's episode, we will be examining the fifth chapter from the Holy Quran Surah Al-Ma'idah the heavenly foods or the edibles. This chapter was revealed with 120 verses in the holy city of Medina. And it appears that this chapter and its verses were amongst the very last verses revealed onto the heart of the last messenger of God, Muhammad ibn Abdullah. Khatam and Nabiin. That the Quran has spoken of almost everything and has taught the Muslim community of almost everything. And you will see, for example, that in the third verse of this chapter, Allah even tells us what to eat and what not to eat. For example, in the third chapter, in the third verse, Allah says, حُرِّمَتْ عَلَيْكُمُ الْمَيْتَةُ وَالْدَّمُ وَلَحْمُ الْخِنْزِيرِ وَمَا أُهِلَّ لِغَيْرِ اللَّهِ Forbidden unto you is blood and a strangled animal and swine. And he lists the rest of forbidden edibles. There is no way that God would then leave us without telling us and directing us on what will happen after the Prophet and how should we act after the Prophet. In fact, in the third ayah, Allah clearly says in the last portion of the third verse, Islam meaning the compilation of all those laws and verses and and belief system put together is the religion of Islam and then for you to submit to it is your actual Islam to the religion of Islam. So we, the followers of Ahl al-Bayt and amongst many scholars from the uh, Sunni school of thought who have spoken extensively of a hadith that discusses the third verse, believe that the Prophet in a place known as Ghadir Khum, in the last pilgrimage, declared who his successor was going to be. And he says, مَنْ كُنْتُ مَوْلَاهُ فَهَذَا عَلِيٌّ مَوْلَاهُ Whoever I was the master of, then Ali is his master in this Islam. And for us to submit to this version of Islam, Allah accepts from us. Many people ask why is it that you know there is a chapter dedicated to Noah and there is a chapter dedicated to Abraham and there is a chapter dedicated to Mary but not a chapter dedicated to Jesus this ma'ad is indeed a reference to the story of Jesus the son of Mary honors Jesus the son of Mary and his disciples where let us go to the 114th verse from this chapter, Allah says, Qala Isa ibn Maryam, Isa, the son of Mary, says, Allahumma Rabbana, O Allah our Lord, anzil alayna ma'idatan min as sama Descend onto us food and edibles from the heavens. Takunu lana eidan, so that we may celebrate li'awwalina wa akhirina wa ayatan minka wa razuqna wa anta khayru raziqeen. A sign, a miracle, from you and you are the best of sustainers and givers and most generous so this chapter honors jesus the son of mary and this is why it is uh named al ma'idah which refers to the heavenly foods descended by god onto jesus 
Like I said, here is an ummah, here is a community that is now established. So Allah has told them of prayer and has told them of pilgrimage and has told them of charity. But here is a more important message. In the very first verse from this chapter, Allah makes it known that your Prophet is departing. You are responsible for the religion of Islam. The religion of Islam will survive because of you. Why and how? Allah says, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu, O you believers, awfu bil uqood. Make sure you fulfill your promises and you honor your contracts. And I tell you, brothers, this is the best form of propagating the religion of Islam to yourself, to your children, to your family, to your friends, and to those who do not know Islam. Once they see someone honest, once they see someone honoring his word and his contract, and even go beyond in showing transparency and honesty, this is how Islam resides in the hearts of the people. Let us come to the 45th verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَكَتَبْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ And we have prescribed onto the Israelites, but however, this is also prescribed onto the Muslims and the believers. فِيهَا أَنَّ النَّفْسَ بِالنَّفْسِ If someone intentionally murders, shall be murdered, and less forgiven. And, and the verse will allude to that. وَالْعَيْنَ بِالْعَيْنَ And an eye for an eye. وَالْأَنْفَ بِالْأَنْفِ And a nose for a nose. وَالْأُذُنِ بِالْأُذُنِ and an ear for an ear, وَالسِّنُّ sin, And a tooth for a tooth, وَالْجُرُوحُ قِصَاصِ and, and for injuries there will be a punishment, فَمَنْ تَصَدَّقَ بِهِ However, if someone forgives, فَهُوَ كَفَّارَةٌ لَهِ وَمَنْ لَمْ يَحْكُمْ بِمَا أَنزَلَ اللَّهُ فَأُولَئِكَ هُمُ الظَّالِمُونَ And Allah says, are in just those who do not take the command of God. And let us continue now when we, what we started with in the 55th ayah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to all the believers, Your wali, your guardian, as Allah. إِنَّمَا وَلِيُّكُمُ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولُهُ And then His Messenger. وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا And the believers. Who are those believers? الَّذِينَ يُقِيمُونَ الصَّلَاةِ Those who establish salah. وَيُؤْتُونَ الزَّكَاةِ And they pay charity. وَهُمْ رَاكِعُونَ In a state of ruku'. Go to the books of the tafsir of all the Muslims. And you will find the name of one man. By the name of Ali ibn Abi Talib who gave charity while he was in a state of ruku' and Allah revealed this ayah to make it clear upon the believers that their wali and their master after Allah and Rasulullah is Ali ibn Abi Talib. Brothers, sisters, 10 minutes is not enough to explore this chapter nor to speak of the successorship of the Prophet Muhammad. However, I urge you to allow those episodes to start a spring of knowledge and spirituality and, and seeking of truth within your hearts. Then proceed to all the books of the Muslims and all the books of Hadith and there you will find that Rasulullah did speak of his successorship. Rasulullah did declare a man to be his Khalifa after him. We as the followers of Ahl al-Bayt have understood it that way. And we have the utmost respect for those who disagree with us. However, it is extremely unfair for those who disagree with us to accuse us of deviating from the path of Rasulullah and his sunnah. For this is the sunnah of Rasulullah. Until next time when we explore another chapter from the Holy Quran, I leave you in the protection of the Almighty God. Wassalamu alaikum. <laughs>